Well, hey everybody. Welcome back to Ham Shack TV. I'm your host, Josh, AA Ford WX. So I've had a couple of you ask about a video that we can display how a mobile rig is set up in the truck. I'll do that. So stick around. guys again welcome back to ham shack tv if you haven't already subscribe like all the youtube things down below those things alone help the channel the most also if you support our videos and like our videos please consider supporting the channel by using one of the links down below for anything you could possibly need so without further ado let's check it out see what we got all right so here is the mobile shack and I'm just going to go ahead and tell you, I don't get too excited about the truck because this is only going to do VHF, UHF, and D-Star. But uh, this is what we affectionately call Big Red. My daughter gave this truck its name when I first got it. Oh, about, well, back in January. So uh, it's a 2000, 2018 uh, Ford F-150 and red is my favorite color so a little dirty uh, where I work is a construction site right now so yeah it's gonna stay dirty but uh, let's uh, let's check it out see what we got so we'll start off with the antenna it is a Comet dual bander it is the CA 2X4SR. So there it is. And we've got it on a lip mount here. And let me pop the hood here. All right, so let's take a look and see what we got. So we've got the hood open here on Big Red, and this is the antenna I have. It is a Comet CA2X4SR, and you can see it's right there. We've got it on a lip mount. All you do is just take a one of the bolts here, take it loose, slide the, slide the connection in there, or the, uh, the lip inside of it, tighten it down, boom, you're mounted. And then you can see the little mini coax goes right down through here. And then uh, right there, you can see how the coax gets a little thicker. If my hand's not the way, I'm, uh, let's see. You can see how the coax gets a little thicker and you see that grommet back in there? Let's see if you can see what I'm looking at. Yeah. Right there. See, see that old grommet? Old rubber grommet? That's where the coax comes into my truck. The only challenge was really just trying to get through that rubber uh, grommet. So anyway, the coax enters the truck down under there. And then I have it snaked through this little port right here, or that little conduit, so to speak. And so, and pardon the mess of my truck here, folks. So we come back here, and that's the base of the radio. So it has, a, this is an ICOM IC5100, and it has uh, the SD card already in it, and you got two, you got an RJ12 and an RJ45. Uh, the RJ45 is for the microphone, the RJ12 is for the head. And so, uh, the red and the black is your power. And then that is an external speaker, uh, the little black cable. And then right there is where the coax meets the radio. Pretty simple. All right, we come back to the front. And 
The cables are a little bit of a mess. I need to clean them up. But right here's where the I have a coupler uh, for the RJ45, or excuse me, the RJ12, which meets up with the head of the radio right there, right? And then uh, the speaker mic, or not the speaker mic, but the mic itself comes out right here. So let me get my keys and we'll turn it on and let you see the radio itself. All right, back with you here in the truck. Let's fire it up. And here's the radio as it's coming on. And let's turn that down before we get a copyright strike. All right. So here we are in the truck and I'll turn this air conditioning down because we don't need air conditioning right now. So uh, this is it. Got my speaker, or my, I keep calling it speaker mic. I got my microphone here, the HM207. And it's got all kinds of multifunctions on it. And then we have a dual band, okay? And I can monitor both at a time. Typically, here's what I do. This is my OpenSpot 4 Pro, which my OpenSpot typically lives in my truck. And right here it is. So I'll go ahead and power that up for you. You can hear it coming to life. Turn my hotspot. And right there it is. Just like that. I've got Charlie. Just like that, I'm connected worldwide on D Star. It's fantastic. You're right. Nothing ever works when you want it to work. <laughs> we'll turn him down. Uh, over here is where I typically monitor my analog stuff. Uh, you can see all that. Typically, I'm on one of two frequencies. I'm typically here, which is Tim Berry's 145 or 146.940 uh, WB4GBI. This is our Sky One repeater. Or I'm typically on the Smoky Mountain Amateur Radio Club repeater. Which is right there. So you can see right here that this little icon's flashing. That means it's not getting a GPS lock. So I'm going to pull forward just a little bit, get out from under the carport, and give the radio a chance to hook up to uh, the GPS. And once it does, I'll show you one of the one of everybody's favorite features about these radios. All right, so now we've got the GPS lock. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to put it in DR mode. DR mode. And if I hold this down, it puts it in directed or direct repeater mode, okay? So most of the time this is used for D-Star. Uh, but you can use it for... Um, you can use it for VHF, UHF repeaters as well. So you got three options whenever you click on that uh, repeater side. You got repeater list, you got near repeater and TX history. Near repeater is what you'll go to. You click on that and you've got near repeater all, near repeater DV, which is digital voice and near repeater FM. So if you click on, let's, like I said, typically people use it for digital voice. So if I click on that, it's searching based off of the GPS, and boom. There is the first four repeaters that are closest to me. You can see 12 miles, 16 miles, 43 miles, and 43 miles. You can do this all across the country. You just have to go to dstar.info and plug in, uh, pull, pull this in on your SD card. Super simple. Um, but let's say I wanted an FM repeater. I wasn't interested in digital voice. I can do that. And look there. Got them all right there. So, say I wanted to land on that. There it is. The 4OLB. 
and just how to get how to get back out of that is go home actually I don't use this very often the dig just because I have my open spot and I have all my stuff already programmed you just click DR again and it takes you back out of it so very very simple uh, setup um, like I said like I say when you buy a D star or DMR radio or even a system fusion radio spend the extra money and get you an open spot uh, these open spots are super simple to run uh, they do D star P25 uh, NXDN uh, Yesu system fusion DMR uh, you name it it does it uh, and you can cross mode too so let's say I wanted to use system fusion on this 5100 I can do that I just have to set it up in my open spot first the open spot you can go into an app on your phone and program it uh, so super super easy stuff all right that's gonna wrap up this video y'all thanks for subscribing thanks for liking if you want to support the channel there are links down in the description below uh, that you can help help the channel uh, everything you do down there uh, goes towards the channel um, if you need to get your ham radio license or want to upgrade your license go to hamradioprep.com use coupon code aa4 or excuse me use coupon code hamshack tv uh, for an extra 10 percent off also, if you're already good and already have your extra class, well, Ham Radio Prep still got you covered. There's two courses on there that are extremely valuable and you might be interested in. One is the HF Master Class. Maybe you're not com confident with HF, try the HF Master Class. That will help you out so much. Also, brand new, just released just recently, is the new Emergency Communications course. Check that one out. You never know when you're going to be called up in a natural disaster or, or something like that. Go ahead and get your your MCOM, uh, uh, your MCOM course in, just so you have an idea, especially in these uncertain times we live in these days. So that's it for now. I want to say 7-3. This is AA4WX, WSCB 693. Bye-bye.